everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools 101 lessons here at educator.com. This is lesson 7. Transport window, MIDI and score editor. In this lesson, we are going to take a look at the transport window, counters and MIDI controls. We will learn how to set up the tempo or meter in our sessions. We will learn setting up our metronome and finally, we will go over the additional editor window such as MIDI editor and score editor. Transport window provides buttons for various transport functions similar to an old school stereo system or CD or DVD player. The way we bring up our movable transport is going under window drop down menu and selecting transport. Shortcut for this is Command Numeric 1. So anytime I go on Command and Numeric 1, we'll bring it up. And also, that's how we get rid of the little transport uh, window as well. Over here, before we go any further and get detail with our movable transport, we have little arrow on the right-hand side. This is how we can customize our transport. First of all, this is an expanded transport. When you turn it on, if it's not selected, it may look like this. As well, I have the counters uh, and at the moment MIDI controls are on too. They can be as little as this as well. So at this view, I have a minimal view of the transport. It just basically has a stop, play, record button as well as a uh, rewinding, forwarding options and this is going to the end and this is going to the, sorry, this is going to the end and this is going back to the top because it returned a zero. Okay, uh, this transport area really looks like the transport area like up here. Let's go and get rid of our zoom controls and bring the transport a little bit in by take our nudge and grid back here. So here's our transport. Um, I like to also at the moment get rid of the MIDI controls too. So this is actually the, pretty much the same look here. When we uh, record enable something here, when we record enable something, any track, you see this one is light up and similarly right here. And the second thing down here just let up when we do something like import monitoring that we're gonna like get into it later. So let's go and talk about our transport a little bit more. Let's expand it and I want to expand with the parts of the MIDI controls as well the counters too. I could of course do that as we just learned but there's another way to do that is simply option clicking on here this plus sign on the transport window. So hold down the option, click there, and you see it's expanded with the counters and MIDI controls. Basically, when we enable the counters here in the transport window, we display the location indicators, and then it basically works correspondingly with our main counter, and it will always show us our main and sub time scale formats. Here, as we kind of mentioned before, if we go and set up different type of time scales, such as minutes and seconds or time code samples, that's correspondingly going to go up here and my whole view is going to change. So I'd like to keep this one here, the bars and beats, and my sub one is going to be minutes and seconds. That's how we're going to work on this session. Then we have the MIDI controls here. When we got the MIDI controls here, basically we have the options of playing us the session and it helps us with the recording the MIDI data also. We can set up our tempo in our sessions. We can set up our meter. We can trigger things. We can set up metronome, wait for no note option, which we're gonna, we're gonna talk about now and as well as the MIDI recording. So there's actually a lot of things to get done with this little area we call MIDI control. 